I'm Sanjay and today we are going to solve a major problem with uh, where most of we get stuck which is ISSO integration of Argo workflows with tags. So mostly what documentation refers means when you go with the uh, Argo workflow documentation they, they most of the time refers to use the Argo city tags which is they created on the top of tags and um, if you are only working with the Argo workflow you don't really need uh, Argo CD running along with it because that's a overload on your overload on your Argo workflow. I mean, you don't need the whole Argo CD running just because you wanted to access the decks out of it, right? So, um, I was trying to solve that problem for a while, and eventually I was able to work on it with it. Work with it, and like, um, so I used the standard on DAX and integrated that work with the Argo workflow and created some documentation and. Uh, um, some hand charts along with it just to help everyone out because I've been uh, working on it for a while and I couldn't solve it for a while so I know most of you got stuck with it and uh, you're still trying to solve the SSO integration for Argo workflow using a DAX because there are multiple providers those are not support still not supported in Argo workflow the only two provider I saw uh, works with Argo workflows are uh, uh, key clock and Okta so apart from that, if you need any other um, other OIDC provider, which is like uh, Microsoft Azure, OIDC, GitHub, or OIDC, or anything else, you need to use the deck. You need to use the decks for OIDC integration over there. All right. So I'll go from here. Most of the time, I'll just show you what I did, um, and eventually I'll use the help chart which I created um, uh, to integrate it with Argo. Uh, to integrate Argo workflow with Argo, uh, with Azure AD, Azure AD URDC. Uh, I created a, uh, I created a Helm chart for GitHub connector as well. Um, so that you can use after that one. So um, if you go over, uh, I mean like first you need to create, you need to create a URDC application in Microsoft Azure. So I already created one and I'm gonna use the same one. And so in order to do that, you can just follow the guide which is here. Uh, how you can uh, create uh, an application, YDC application in Microsoft Azure uh, YDC for YDC, uh, YDC SSO, for your SSO integration. Uh, SSO is a single sign-on. If you don't know, you can go and read about it. YDC, if you don't know, I'm not going to explain YDC here. So you can go and read that. It's Open ID Connect. So it, uh, it's an authorization framework over the uh, authentication framework, I guess. Yeah yeah or or other way around so i don't remember it uh, on the top of my head so first uh, let's uh, go over here so you just have to create a ydc application first which i already created which i'm not going to explain because it's already there and it's a very easy way to do it and you or you can create a github ydc application which already uh, which i already also covered in the um uh, AWS GitHub chart, so you can create a GitHub GitHub application from here. Okay, so that's not a big deal. All right, so we'll we'll work with the Microsoft connector today. Um, that's what I've been working on. So first, what you need to do, you need to create the self sites because you need to because when we work with the Microsoft, uh, when we work with the mask Microsoft um, OIDC, they need the they need us they need a https connection so uh, what i need to do i need to, to create some self sign cert and uh, for i'm use uh, self sign cert so i'm going to use the prerequisite.sh to create some self sign cert and it's going to create the secrets and everything for me so i'm going to show it to you very quickly so that's what i said i'll go over the theory first so if you go to the prerequisite.sh, what it does, it just takes your the um, uh, takes your namespace. So it's gonna ask you what which namespace you want to install. Um, then you can just pass. So it will keep on asking those. Uh, we'll go go over it. Then it's gonna delete any certs you already have. Then it's gonna create the three certs for you, which is a root CS server 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 key and server cert. Create if namespace is not there, it's gonna create it for you. Then it's gonna create a TLS cert for you. Uh, with the secrets with the server cert and server key and also it's gonna create a config map which is going to use by your argo workflow when it is connecting to your dex which is running on the same namespace where your argo workflow is running so we it needs a root ca for that 
So we'll create a config map with the root CA and uh, we'll go from there. After running the prerequisite, I'll, it will be straightforward for us because I already created the values.yml for this one. Um, so this is what your values.yml, you'll need a load balancer. So most of you who is trying to solve this problem are in production because on local you don't really do the SSO integration map. So I'm not trying to solve it for the one like who is doing it up local, but you can do it. It's a, it's a very manageable, but you need to separate it out. Uh, you need to separate out the Argo workflow and uh, an index part. I just merged it together uh, for now, just to make it simple for me. So you need, what you need, you need a client ID, tenant ID and client secret in case you're working with Microsoft Azure. Uh, the issuer uh, is always your Dex, is, Dex is your issuer. What is your static client setup? Uh, so we'll do the your static client uh, setup and the redirect URI here. Uh, so whatever is your redirect uh, URI is, okay? So I'll show you the my actual, actual YML here, which you're going to use. What you actually you need to do, you just need to do the Helm add on the chart that I've created, update the update the repo and uh, just install the Microsoft connector with your new values.yml where you will update the values which I'll show in, in a minute. All right, uh, next, if you want to see the how I'm doing it, first check the text.yml, so I created as uh, text.yml. Uh, which has the deployment, the service account, which is all the cluster role, role binding. So this has everything which you need here. If you want to go ahead, just um, get a copy of it and you can work with it. Uh, then I am gonna, uh, then I have Argo SSO secret um, that which is going to use by your DEX. Uh, that's, uh, then I have a secret as a DEX configuration. So DEX configuration is a config.yml which is used by DEX uh, binary uh, which is running in the deployment. So we are going to update this one as well uh, with the values.yml. So that's everything uh, that will be changing. Also, yeah, uh, if you see my values.yml here, uh, I have updated things for Argo workflows, uh, which is like uh, for controller, um, I'm using a I'm using a type 3.3.6. Uh, which I'll update, which I can update and access it from me, like get it from the from the values.yml, which I'll update uh, later. For a server, I'm using a service account, which I mentioned here. Secure, I made it true. Uh, just make sure you make it true because we need a secure SSL TLS connection. We, we are going to, they are going to use the self sign set. Service type, I'm using a load balancer. Load balancer IP, I'm using as a default here, but you can, you have to update it. Um, then volume mount, if you see, remember, I told you in the generate CA that uh, uh, in the prerequisite, I'm going to generate a um, config map uh, with the root CA. So that's your root CA. Uh, oh, sorry. That's your C CA cert. That's your CA cert for something else. No, it's not. So this is the one I'm creating. Oh, okay. You, no, sorry. Never mind. That's a volume mount. So that's a volume mount for my CA and that's my volume for CA. Extra argument I'm passing for the Argo server is uh, auth mode is SSO. So I'm enabling the SSO, SSO integration. Uh, the issuer, I'm I'm gonna update the issuer as well with my value file. Now client ID, client secret, I'm going to upgrade most of the things, okay? So redirect URI, RPEC is equal to enable true, um, I, which will make it false eventually. So this uh, values.yml, we're gonna upgrade, update it. No, but yeah, like whatever the default is gonna be default. All right, so that's your values.yml. Um, I already, okay. So that's good, to, like that's my Helm charts, but I created a Helm, uh, uh, Helm, I, I, I create, I, I, I published this Helm chart so you can use it directly. You don't really have to, or if you wanna use it, like you can just copy and mm, change it and use it directly or if you are doing it on the local and separate it out the Dex part and the Argo workflow part. So I'm using GKE. So first two things that I did in GKE, my GKE cluster is uh, I created my static IPs uh, just uh, for load balancer. So if you see my, if you see here, I have two, two static IP that I reserved uh, for uh, 
one for text, one for Argo workflow. So I'm going to use the same um, for myself for Argo workflow, Argo workflow service and the Dex service. Um, so I'm working with the GKE. So let's do it. So first, what we need to do, uh, we need to get the Helm chart which I created. Uh, so I'm gonna add this. Uh, I have this documented uh, on Medium, so I'll share you the. So I'm gonna add the repo which I've created. Okay, and now let's do the Helm rep update. Let's see what are the charts I have in the repo. So I got uh, AW, uh, AW Dex, GitHub, AW Dex, Microsoft. So I have created both of the chart. Okay, so we have the repo now. Now I'm gonna go to my AW Dex, which is my repo. Now I'm gonna just run the prerequisite .sh. I'm gonna keep it Argo, or you, if you already, if you're gonna keep it Argo, just hit enter. Enter your client ID for IDC application. So I have a client ID, sorry, let's do it again. I'm gonna show you the whole. So that's my Azure values.yml. Let's go ahead with this. So I updated my load balancer IP here, my client ID, tenant ID, client secret. My issuer is gonna be tax. Redirect URI is going to be my Argo workflow UI, Argo workflow URL. Load balancer for Argo workflow is this one. So this one should be match here. Then issuer is DAX, which is the same as here. Then client ID, Argo workflow SSO, client ID, client secret. It's all, all these things going to pull up from this secret. We cre we're going to create this secret. Client secret, redirect URI is here. Argo workflow redirect URL, RPEC, we're gonna keep it false because we are not enabling any RPEC there. We have to create a group which I cannot create with my personal account on Azure AD. So this is how your values.yml look like. Now, okay, so let's do the prerequisite.sh Argo client ID. Let's copy the client ID here. Let's copy the client secret. load balancer IP, so I already have a load balancer um, which I showed you. So I'm gonna copy the load balancer IP for my tax. Okay, so it created a self sign cert for me. Signature looks okay. Then it's creating a TLS secret which is a tax for me. Then it created a config map for me, dex CA and updated values.yml under AWS. So it's asking me to update the values.yml. Okay, now our values.yml is already upgraded, which I showed before. Now let's, uh, okay. Um, if I see here secrets, see our TLS secrets are created automatically. Okay. All right, now, I have a Azure where I have client ID, client secret, everything. So it's gonna create the Argo workflow secret over there for me uh, with the Helm charts. So I already have a Helm chart. Uh, now I'm gonna just gonna run the Helm install command. I already did that before, so I'm gonna use the same command. So you're gonna do Helm install, then text demo, then the chart which we just added for which we added the repo minus f test dot y value azure ml minus n argo and if create name you can use create namespace if you don't have it but yeah we did in the prerequisite so it already created the namespace for us okay all right so i have the pod. Let's see the pod. So first time, uh, 
when your dex is running make sure your dex is running okay dex is good i don't see any issue here okay i'll maximize it okay now first time just go and restart the restart the pod it will always throw the error oh i should okay still throwing Okay, it's trying. It's running now. Because first time when you created, there is no dependency I uh, declared in the Helm chart. So what it does, they start automatically. They start uh, together, and Dex is not ready by the time Argo workflow is ready. So that's why it throws the error. Okay, that's good. That's it's running. All of them are running. So let's see the service. I have a service uh, two seven four six on this IP. That's my external IP. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna type, okay, I already typed it here, I think, okay. Okay, so go to your Argo workflow UI. Okay, now if your organization has single sign-on, login. It's doing all this because I'm using the self sign site. Okay, now log in with the Microsoft. Now I'm going to use this. Enter the password for this. Sign in. Don't show it again. Okay, send code. And hold on a minute. I need to get the code. Just grant access. Hola. Here you go. Now, so that's your SSO integration. So that's uh, your SSO integration with Targo. My daughter was here. <laughs> so that's your SSO integration um, with Targo workflow. So. Uh, with uh, Argo Workflow and Microsoft Azure AD, ORDC and you see that right I was able to get the Argo Workflow uh, SSO integration uh, working with the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Azure AD ORDC and you can do the same thing with uh, uh, with the GitHub ORDC as well and you can follow the instruction there now so you'll be you'll be ready to go there so guys uh, uh, if you uh, if you have any question, just let me know. I'm on the Slack and I have my GitHub, yeah. I have a GitHub repository. So if you post the question there, I will, I'll be able to get there. So that's what I was trying to solve here for us. And congratulations, you have a standard on text working with Argo workflows. So you don't need Argo CD text here just to get your SSO integration for Argo workflow. Uh, thank you very much if you're watching this and yeah, have a nice day. Just see around.